Right, welcome back to my playthrough of Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. We're gonna put a nuclear head right there. The problem is there's there are a number of Nazis uh, still trying to stop us. Well, they aren't really trying. They don't. I don't think these ones particularly know that we are coming yet, which is really stupid of them because we have killed a lot of people coming here. What is this, Commandant Johann's letter? Gruber, every time the sun sets and the countless stars rise over the Sahara Desert, I grow anxious. I think too much again about our mission and what we've done. We brought much needed order, prosperity, and culture to Morocco, but the sacrifices were great and they were not ours. In my dreams, I see their faces. Were they not human? Had God not granted them a voice, a heart, or soul, we robbed them of their destiny to fulfill our own. It's gotten to where I can no longer tell the difference between what is righteous and what is wicked. What I ask for is reassurance that our mission is just. Your friend Johan. Ah, somebody grew a conscience. That's uh, not tolerated around here. And there's a officer just right here standing to observe their glorious achievements. You know, it always strikes me as weird that they don't scream when we start uh, tearing their limbs off. Usually that elicits a few cries of pain or terror or whatever. So we are kind of stealthing. Ah, oh, shit. Well, we're no longer stealthing. Wow, that was a resounding failure. Let's just ditch the big gun and uh, try to be a little bit more nimble this time. But I also want to ditch the gun in a place where we possibly can pick it up again in the future if we ever need it. So, you want the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is place it... Well, this is another one. We missed this one last time. Cause, uh, could someone please inform me where the hell Commander Gruber is, flirting with the American girls at the parade? I've had enough of carrying for his behind. He was supposed to bring back some food from Papa Joe's and be here before our shift started, and now I'm stuck here, hungry, having him do his job too. If our superiors learn about this, Gruber is dead. Is Gruber the guy who, with the milkshake? Because he dead. Be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it, they won't disarm it. Once again, kill this guy in every manner conceivable. Okay. Let's switch the regular weapon here just to be able to move faster and uh, Oopsie, soldiers over there. Is he gonna look this way though? Ah, oh, shit. You're really fucking sensitive.
Ah, oh, man. This sucks. This really sucks. Oh, I can't wait to get out of this 50 maximum health thing. And without spoiling much, we do get out of that eventually. I just don't... I, I can't tell you how, but we do. It's not that far away. The, the bright future awaits us. So, you want the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is... Place it in the Oberkommando's nuclear reactor. That way the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it, they won't disarm it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just to start shooting folks, because I don't care anymore. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide here if you guys don't mind. You know where to find me. Ah, shit. Anybody who goes through that door dies, be it human, uh, or dog, or robot, you die. It's that fucking simple. I see the other officer. Yep, he did. And I guess that's it. That's all the enemies so far. If you hear rain on my side of the uh, microphone, that's not a video game uh, sound effect. That's just because it's raining. It's raining intermittently for all day and it's not gonna stop. So. I, I got tired of waiting for it to end. If you're wondering why I didn't use this uh, weapon before, well, let's just say I am saving it for something else. Alright, here we go. Did something happen? Oh, we have to reach the top of the thing. There we go. Uh, oh, I forgot this is what we're supposed to do. Well, obviously, we sh this is uh, where we... This is what we came for. We planned the uh, nuclear bomb. The warhead we got from Section F. I'm arming the warhead now. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. And he is not friendly. In fact, ah, oh shit. For God, this is like a. We gotta be careful where we step from now on. I mean, how do the Nazis even get around? This place is so hazardous in so many ways. Well, we just have to take down that big thing and. This is the thing with a, a lot of boss fights. It's never just about the bosses. 
What's really annoying are the uh, all the foot soldiers or the minions that we also have to contend with. Well, make it really inconvenient, you know. But you want to focus on uh, all the uh, your best firepower for the for the big boys, right? Ah, uh, shit. God damn it, let me fucking up already. Pick it up, pick it up. We gotta take out the cannons. You see, I wasn't killed by the boss, I was killed by all the foot soldiers, all the henchmen, all the little guys. This is what happens, this is where a boss fight gets really tricky is Especially when you don't have that much health to begin with. So what I'm gonna do this time... Is once again, I'm gonna... Come on! What just happened? Why am I in the load screen again? Why does this keep happening? Does the game... I think it auto saved me at a really bad spot, that's why I died so soon. Maybe that's what maybe that's what it thinks, but that's not really it. Just need to uh, jump at a better spot, that's all. See, it's doable. So I'm gonna keep moving. Just to now the uh, big guys in screen. Let's uh, take out some of the cannons, but also the foot soldiers too. Shit! We can't. Oh no. The thing with this boss is we really can't stay uh, uh, at it. Wow. It's helping me kill, uh, kill its own friends. So this is a sweet spot for this boss because uh, it's relatively well covered. Oh, look at this. Damage sustained in this area is generally... Ah, oh, shit! Stress is going to say minimal, but... It's not so minimal that I can ignore it. I need to kill those soldiers faster, that's the problem. I can't find them all at once. They're getting really good at tacticals. And I'm only playing this on the, I don't know, bring them on difficulty. I can't imagine how to do this uh, with higher difficulties. I'm struggling as it is. Okay, let's try try another side this time. Maybe that's the problem. It's not really the uh, food soldiers that is a problem. It's not even a, the robot that's a problem. It's the combination of all forces that gets really fucking difficult. Ah, I'm tired of losing this thing. Well, what we really need to do is to take out either the soldiers or the robot really, really fucking fast. So this robot is all about taking out his weapons, and nothing else really matters. If you take out his weapons, I think the robot just collapses. Even if it doesn't, it doesn't have a weapon anymore. So I'm gonna try to do the robot really fast. One. Ah, shit! Okay, that doesn't work.
What the hell now? How did they fucking manage to get over here? Ah, oh, see, they're so fucking tactical. They're they don't do attack me at once. I can't cover all fronts. You know what? I've been. Uh, let's try the robot first tactic again, but this time we take out its uh, left hand first. We've been doing the right hand. I think the left hand is where he shoots cannons in the sky, and those are tracers. That's why they are so hard to avoid. So let's try to do this the other way around. Yes! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh man, this is a fight for survival from now on. Why do the uh, grenades have no sound effects? I have to run because there were red barrels over there and I don't want them to explode beside me. Obviously. Shit. Hey, you know what? This is a nice spot. Can I even use the land elevator? Nope. Elevator don't work. So unless somebody ricochets a grenade inside this place, I should be uh, in, in a relatively safe place. Oh yeah, you found me. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Come on, guys. If, have you found me yet? Come on. So you do know where I am. Well then come to me. Fuck you. Seriously. I didn't kill him. No, I can't. I can't wait for them forever. Where the hell are they? There you are. 
Wow, it's raining. Raining cats and dogs out there. See you. Uh, will that be the last of you guys? Because. Easiest way to uh, check is just to get to the highest ground and see if anybody shoots at you. And I guess no. All right, I've tough through this. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, you didn't even make it out the door. You fucking suck, my friend. Does he have a super weapon of some sort that I can pick up? No? Okay. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. That's right, BJ. We have planted the nuke. And we don't want to be there when a nuke goes nuke. Yeah. Keep running, Nazis. So this is some of their... I guess this is a scientist's place. Well, you may be in a uh, white suit. Still a Nazi. Oh boy. I want to take this guy out before he activates good they're not gonna just me walk let me walk out of here this is going to take a battle or some sort uh hey billiards or pool I want to play some Shit. Well, that happened. That happened and I'm still living! Booyah! Whew. I'm out of here. If you're wondering why BJ is letting that nasty guy live, remember there's a nuclear bomb about to go off. So nobody's letting nobody live here.
is I'm not supposed to play with you. Well, why he say that? My daddy said that Negroes are a sickness on the community and a bad influence, dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out, and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colored to slaves, and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair, and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine Scout. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Ah. Ah, uh, kids. Remember you showed they resolved their problems real fast. The one I met someone special. Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. So BJ, uh, after detonating a nuclear bomb in the middle of the, uh, of New Mexico, I think, didn't immediately go back to uh, to reunite with his uh, with 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 Arya, Anya, and. Um, the other rebellions he didn't go back to report mission accomplished he uh, went back to the black school's farm from his childhood and we can relive some childhood memories here eventually going to the old house but let's go to the uh, stable stable first Whoa, look at this Billy I'm gonna knock the rat fell in the mop bucket now he can't get out look at that <laughs> drown Probably. Save him, Billy. He's drowning. It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs, pooping in our cupboards. He's dying. He's dying, Billy. was the one who was about to kill him but yeah sure Something has also happened here. don't remember what happened to the dog well basically dad shot it um actually i think for some players it was bj who shot it i i, I don't know i guess i don't know what would have happened if i actually pulled the trigger on that dog i don't know if bj actually would have done that 
Maybe the game would have stopped me. I... I didn't. And it's not like I haven't used the BJ to kill a number of dogs in, in, in these series of games. I killed a whole lot of them, but these those are Nazi dogs, so th it, it's, it's excusable. And BJ is a tree hugger now, just like Kratos. doesn't know if Bill, the other Billy is living or dying, Either alive or dead, I have to say, but... I don't know, The uh, if in a world ruled by Nazis, her chance probably isn't all that good. Let's see if there's anything else around here. Uh, I guess not, I guess the only thing left to do is to go to the old house. Mama! Daddy! What's the goddamn ruckus? And it Howard, they followed me. They they pin me down, they took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property? They're going to walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to the parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're going to let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> Ah, that dad is an asshole. And the house is a goddamn wreck. Oh, is there anything salvageable around here? Oh, what's in the basement? I'll be in the grave rotten away, and still a better daddy than you. Well fucking said. Oh wait, I actually got upgrade kit. kit. That, that is not expected. Let's see here. Young Billy's note. Okay, the paper is blood-stained and wrinkled. I swear I'll be a good boy. I swear I will not disobey my father. I swear I will clean up my room. I swear I will clean up the dishes. I swear I will act like a goddamn man. I swear I will not disgrace my people. This text was written by an adult. Billy Blackskowitz, the name was written by a child. I don't know, that doesn't look like an adult's handwriting. So no, clearly nobody is living here. Hey. 
son, I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you until the cows come. Nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you, there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. There's daylight. Sophia, you in on this? You see him? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? You're gonna shoot yourself sleeping like that. You know, as far as he, daddy moments go, that one was not too bad. That one showed that his father wasn't just being mean to him for the sake of being mean. He wasn't just trying to be a bad father. He. His, his father was just a really troubled human being and he had a, a lot of things to figure out himself that's why he wasn't like a, a star father himself and probably in his mind he was a really good one. Oh my god Shit. I feel like my house is going to get blown away at any second so this recording may just become my personal legacy. Place is gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. I'm in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I mattered. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. 
Ask anyone around these parts. Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? What happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She's gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself out of gun. Oh yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. What'd you call? I heard everything. Who in the hell'd you call? Oh, well, we got a so shit. Now we got to solve the daddy issue. Okay, somebody took our house and went on a trip. Guess who's calling? Oh my god, I fucking hate drones! You have at least died. Well, I'm down to one health. That's just great. I need to sort out these guys first.
I have no grenades. This is not good. Son of a bitch! How fast do you guys fucking breathe? Oh, I regret wasting all that strong ammo at the beginning of this level. Shit! And there are more of you. Would that be all? I'm getting paranoid, like, I see them everywhere. Great. Oh, shit! Right. Uh, I'll take that. What yeah, we we're in the middle. Uh, we're in mid air, so I uh, didn't really think that through. We're probably gonna die. I don't know, have you looked in the mirror lately? There's no rule to say you can't kiss the bride before the wedding. That is... An entirely too big needle, you don't really need that. Lady, calm down. I murdered a lot of sons. It's all a show. And I'm the guy wearing the black hat.
Oh yeah, they didn't read me my rights. I could probably get off on technicality. Hey. Not my problem, it says on. Oh Christ! Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck! Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen. Uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. Okay, That's sounds good. Plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got. All right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get you, and I'm your fucking lawyer. That pissed me off. But hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him. And I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator. <laughs> Popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down to the garage where boom, Adi and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. I don't know if this is uh, this sounds a little shoddy. Ready? Like a lot of things can go wrong. Let's get this freak show on the road. Oh shit. Fuck. That hurts so bad. Yeah, I have a mean punch. Fucking gag and all you. Alright. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our why did you make that far. like you attacked me to begin with? If you're gonna kill the guard the either way. It's getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Oh Help! yeah, this. He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose and then he got out through that door right there! Fucking terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back! And, and, he, and he had help! Uh, they, they came and ran through that door and they broke him out! Mm -hmm. It was space Good. aliens, man! <laughs> You had him until the space aliens. Shit! Cut! Zimmerman! Sie haben Talent. So zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt doch. Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. He was already dead on the inside. Ah, uh, come on. Open your mouth. Nope. Open. Ah, shit. That's it. How does it taste? Not very good, no. Yep, I did that. And 
high treason. Well, I never joined you, so there's no treason. That number in the thousands. You have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as death. Death, Mr. Blaskowitz. Yeah, I kind of figured that death. would be the case. What are you nodding at? You son of a bitch. You. Oh, look at that. Uh oh. BJ is awake. BJ is angry. Oh, you Nazi fuckers. You are all in trouble. Oh, shit. Well. I'm gonna have to warn you that this part is especially gruesome and brutal and is difficult, very, very difficult. So, uh, the last time I had to play this, uh, it took me about, I don't know, an hour to get through this. No joke. At least an hour, probably even more. Yep, I killed the judge. Fuck the judge. So, I've been kind of terrified at replaying this, but it looks like I have to. Now, somebody's shooting at me outside of the range, so uh, I'm gonna have to do that. I don't know if I can save the game manually. Oh, it seems I can. Whoops! That guy just got blown to smithereens. So, that's good. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna send wave wave after wave of enemies up, upon me. I can catch that baby for maximum effect. And the enemies are gonna get stronger and tougher until it gets ridiculous. Yeah, I saw him get coming this way. Oh shit. And if you hear that, that means it's gonna be trouble. Yeah, that's a that's a no from me. Shit, I'm taking heavy fire. This part is going to take a few tries, so uh, please bear with me. It's uh, it's gonna be a miracle when I that, that's gonna get me through this, because it's really fucking brutal. You gotta provide your own fire suppression. Otherwise, everybody's gonna just shoot at you, and there's no surviving that. And if you're hearing sound of aircraft, that's because we're gonna be we're gonna be having guests. There we go, and one more, I believe. So these two guys represent endless sorrow for me. The last time I had to play this part.
Uh, it's not like I can't take them down or anything. Oh, shit. I did take them down at a great cost of myself, but problem is they're gonna be immediately followed by these guys. Okay, I got to the health pack in time. So I, I actually be able to pull this off. Now what I'm gonna do is I immediately run to this newly opened era and uh, seal myself in. Now I can't afford to use too much of that ammo because uh, there's still... Whoa, 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 what the hell is this? Oh, I didn't... I didn't realize that's the kind of ammo I was using. So, um... Wait, how does this work? What is this weapon? I'm a little confused. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. See, I just... I got fucked up really bad up here, but basically, uh... The idea was not wrong. That was like the best tactic I had developed over a few hours the last time I played this. And after that, everything else is like a matter of luck. You gotta be really lucky to be able to pull it off perfectly. Just wait for the other one. This is a nice spot to pin him in. Immediately turn around for the new arrivals. Shit. Since we don't have a lot of enemy behind us right now, let's attach this. Uh, one great benefit of attaching it is you don't have to worry about ammo anymore because you have infinite ammo while this thing is attached. But people are attacking me from sideways, so that can't last very long. You know if this this part is actually really frustrating in many ways. Ah oh, shit, especially when that happens. It's legit hard to figure out exactly what is going on. And every time you go back to before the uh, big robots came out, I really think they should have like a few extra. Just a. Just some extra save points, checkpoints in between, because this is like way too much.
Oh wait, I don't need to uh, please attach them now. Start shooting at him. Wait, how am I already so down on health already? This is like not how it's supposed to go. And there he comes. Turn around for the make for the new thing. Here we go. Kill the dog. And you. And you. You know what? I'm gonna manually save here. Just because it's a. Uh, since they allow me to manually save, it's not cheating. Ah, come on! I got killed by a single soldier, that's not right. But they are able to reload me at my own safe spot, which is nice. What the hell now? Ah. There's a very specific sequence of things you need to execute in order to survive this. The, the, the margin of error is like... Is, is low to zero. You just gotta... It's a little bit of a trial and error here to be honest with you and... You gotta develop a path. And stick to it. Are you still trying to aim your gun at me, you son of a bitch? I see somebody just dropped off again. So, what we gotta do is just to, uh, Kill everybody and survive. If we don't get out of here right now, we're gonna be executed, and we don't want that. Being executed by uh, the entire Nazi regime on a televised event is not cool, right? Just, just not something we're. Oh my God! What the hell is going on here? Oh boy. Ah, oh, shit. See that? That's completely not fair. Like, how the fuck is anyone supposed to survive that? Alright. 
Oh no! There's no fucking time to react to that. The amount of time I get off that turret, I'm already dead. See my predicament here? So, as you can see, uh, even after this round, there are like all kinds of robots, big and small, fast and slow. All kinds of firepower coming my way. So no, there's not gonna be any peace. I'm just gonna go back to my usual corner and hide, if you don't mind. In fact, I'm going to uh, create another save slot just for this scenario. See, this is just more controllable. As long as you don't, they don't throw like a thousand grenades in here, I'm fine. So, uh, who's next? Jesus. Shoot him in the head. Headshot still counts in this game. God, they just took took a shot at me, and I don't have that much health to spare. You son of a bitch! Okay, need more ammo and stuff. Whoa, look at that. Fuck yeah, I'm loaded. You might be wondering why BJ is able to move li like this when he's no longer in his suit and he's clearly... He, uh, his wound from uh, the last game is still uh, insupportable. Well... There's going to be an announcer to that. But right now we need to get the hell out of here. Mom. Oh look his mom is here. How convenient. Just a little bit. Do not worry for me. My troubles are over, my son. I don't want to go back out there. But I can't do. 
do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mama. They're not born yet. I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. And you just have one more hardship to go. Oops. Ah, uh, oh shit. As you might have suspected, that was a dream. Warm quill to daydreams. Stolen by a cold wind of reality. Is that supposed to be Hitler now? Can't really tell. It's definitely not gonna be Lincoln. Maybe it's that set? So as you can see, we are in kind of a pickle. No, we wouldn't. Keep telling yourself that. You're breaking my heart. The old and the weak are doomed. And... You couldn't fucking cut it off in one go, you evil fucking hag. Yeah, I... Just... This, this is a little bit awkward, but I think... I think we're dead. 